built in the be in the back in your back back door. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Outside in the back. And in the winter time, milk would freeze, and it, and they were in glass bottles. And it would it would the milk would come up through the paper cap, you know, and push it up like that. Oh, and every story reminds me of another. <laughs> this milkman. <laughs> What was it this milkman used to do? He, he used to deliver the milk in the backyard. One time he wanted to come in for a quickie. <laughs> oh, things are so funny. Is that the whole story? What story? I mean, did you know this guy, the milkman? Well, I would, I would pay him. And, okay. You know, once a week, I think. And you were married? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, sure, because I was—it was my house. Yeah. So many things. What do you remember about being young when you first married Lenny? I remember he—he he disliked it intensely. If any—if a—if if a woman would sigh or if a person would sigh. Hmm. Well, when you have an orgasm, I found out later, you sigh. Mm -hmm. And he got very upset when we had sex one time. And um, I said, what happened? And he said, you sighed. So then he, he wanted to, to know something or do something or something, and I wouldn't because of the fact that got so mad about the sign. Isn't that a weird thing? Mm -hmm. If he had been a, a, only with me, a virgin, he would have, and he had had sex with other women, he would have heard, heard the size too, you know. Mm -hmm. That was Lenny, huh? And Lenny, Lenny was, Lenny had cancer, and he was dying, and I said to the doctor, I think I'll spend the night with him, and the doctor said, oh, I think you should. The doctor thought he was going to die that night. I didn't know that. And he was delirious, and he says to me in his delirium, Millie, you don't mind, do you? And I said, mind what? He says, changing partners. I said, yes, I mind. I mind very much. He didn't die that night. And the doctor couldn't believe it. He treated me like I was some a, a angel from heaven. And when I had to have half of my thyroid removed, he said, I'm going to get you the, bed, the same bed that I had in the hospital hmm. like that. Yeah. Were you poor when you first married Lenny? Poor? Did you need money? I met him in college. But my father, he had three kids in college. At the, well, he had four kids when I went. Or something like that. Anyway, I remember... He, he wanted Florence to wait before going to college, wait a year, because mm -hmm. it was so expensive. So Florence started to cry, and so he said, okay, okay, you know. And, uh, and I remember him saying something about he was too poor to have an education in Russia, in the Ukraine. He had to pay for it in those days. So he never got above fourth grade, the Hebrew school. And um, so my father's, I remember my, somebody saying about how my father sent all of his kids to college, including his daughters. In those days, they thought college was not necessary for girls. Hmm. Do you think that Lenny was sexist? Sexist? As alleged by Laura and Eleanor. Well, they must have obviously... Well, I, I don't recall it at, at, at all. I remember... Maybe the fact that he didn't want you to have orgasms. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. Well, well he, he got angry. A sighing was, was a fake. Uh -huh. I remember one time when Cindy came in the house and fell on the floor crying... He used to hit his kids. I think his mother used to hit him. Mm. 
And I was down in the basement one time, and he was bothering Cindy in some way, and I screamed up the stairs, leave her alone! And then I got hysterical, mm -hmm. and he got scared, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, I, one time we're coming back from Islesford in the car, and I said very quietly, uh, I don't want to live together, something like that. So we get in the, in the house. He starts pouring wine to get me to talk. And um, I said, I told you, I don't want to live together. He says, well, what do you want? I said, I want to marry you. <laughs> he gets me to ask him. So he said, I told you I'd rather marry you than lose you. Was this Lenny or Charlie? Lenny. No, Charlie. So you went to Islesford with Lenny in a car? Charlie. Charlie. It was Charlie. Yeah, Charlie was in Islesford. I'd rather marry you than lose you, Charlie said. Oh, is that? I, I forget what I'm talking about. And someone, I know that after he died, I got letters from people. It was a doctor who, the ignorance of the doctor who killed him. Mm -hmm. I told you this before. Huh? And uh, I got letters from people, and I got some from Islesford. And it said, I still remember you and Charlie walking hand in hand. Up, we used to walk up to the post office, and sometimes we'd have breakfast there. And I think they sold my book there. They had my book there. Hmm. I had a, uh, yeah. And uh, what else about that? There was a woman named Sue, Seuss. She was kind of faddish. Seuss. And what did she do? Some, something about eggs. Somebody had chickens and they laid eggs. It was either her or another guy. So we always had fresh eggs. Watch it. <laughs> yeah. Any more songs? I sang Another Bride, Another June. Another bride, another June, another sunny honeymoon, another season, another reason for making whoopee. Another year, or maybe less. What's this I hear? Well, can't you guess? She feels neglected, and he's suspected of making whoopee. He doesn't make much money. Only five thousand per. Some judge who thinks he's funny says you'll give six to her. He says, but judge, suppose I fail. The judge said, budge, ride into jail. You'd better keep her, you'll find it's cheaper than making whoopee. Boom, bee, dee, doo, boom, boom. Very nice.